A planned student walkout is the latest show of disappointment in the Hamburg School District. Good evening. I'm Mary Ellis Demler. Scott is off tonight. Now this comes as everyone involved tries to grapple with the loss and frustration with so-called budget errors at the center of it all. Two on your side's Rob Hackford was at the protest and Rob, it was quite a scene. Yeah, Mary Ellis, the crowd of students numbered in the hundreds this morning with Hamburg police and school staff helping make this show of support happen. Frustration and anger in the Hamburg School District. Students sharing their disappointment Thursday about layoffs and retirees not being replaced amid a strained budget. It makes me like really mad and upset. It's just like really upsetting. I feel bad. You see teachers in, with tears in their eyes almost every single day now. Staff cheering on students walking in their support. The Hamburg Teachers Union declining an interview with two on your side, but saying in a statement they are saddened and disappointed like many parents. We haven't heard a lot, which is what the issue is. That's why our kids are here today, both from Hamburg Middle School and Hamburg High School. They really came together to get those answers that we are looking for. It comes after a packed school board meeting Tuesday where Hamburg Superintendent Michael Cordell apologized. How sorry I am personally for what we're going through. Cornell telling two on your side the district was unaware of budgeting errors made in recent years until it was too late. Those errors are wrapped up in a personnel matter, he says, which has limited what the district can say. But parents have linked the struggled finances to the controversial departure of former assistant superintendent Barbara Spores who the district had planned to file disciplinary charges against. According to teachers, Spore's departure was bound by a non-disparagement agreement, legally limiting what anyone involved can say. That's resulted in calls for transparency. They made a mistake. They're not owning up to it. There's no transparency, and our teachers and our kids are going to suffer for it. According to Superintendent Cornell, no programs at the middle and high school will be cut, however adding that five teachers who are performing other duties in the district currently will return to the classroom. I am hoping that the district can come together and do some creative financing and some creative problem solving so that we don't have to face these cuts. Bruce O'Gang is now hoping state lawmakers can swing more money to Hamburg during budget talks. Cornell adding that cuts to every possible non-staff expense, including a couple administrative positions and other non-classroom positions, were made before teachers. On your side in Hamburg, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.